Hello humans, I sold my Hummer and I sold my Skyline and now it's time for something new. But before I go into what's next, I want to clear up a little misconception about what I do. Over the last few weeks, a lot of you have asked me, Doug, what are you buying to replace your Hummer? What are you buying to replace your Skyline? What car are you getting next? Well, the truth is, I don't choose what car I'm getting next. You do. A few years ago, I realized that all these journalists get all these press cars for a week or two and then they write a review. Wouldn't it be more interesting to buy a car and report on it for a year so you can give it a more thorough test? And so you have no biases toward the car company? So a few years ago, I asked my readers on Jalopnik what car I should buy to write about, and I got hundreds of responses. I ended up with a Cadillac CTS V wagon, which I drove across the country, including 150 miles an hour on the Bonneville Salt Flats. The next year, I asked my readers on Jalopnik again, what car do you want to hear about for a year? And the answer was the Ferrari, so I bought one. And then I reported on every aspect of the Ferrari ownership process, including, can you stick a TV on the roof? Last year, I asked my readers on Jalopnik again, what car should I buy? And I got over 4,000 responses. Two of the top ones were a Skyline GTR and a Hummer. So I bought them. And then I did some weird things with them. And now it's time for you to help me choose what car I should buy next. This year I'm opening it up beyond Jalopnik. I want to hear from people on Twitter, on Facebook, and on YouTube. But before you give your response the criteria, this year there are only three things to keep in mind. Number one, the budget. 60 grand. Maybe 65. If I could find an F40 for 70, I'd probably get that. Right now I haven't decided if I'm going to do one car or two, but for now let's start with one. Number two, this is the most important one. This has to be a car you want to hear about for a year. Those of you who complained about the Skyline, think about this before you make your suggestion. Yes, a WRX STI or a Porsche 911 is a cool car, but do you really want to hear about them every couple weeks for a year? Number three, cost. This car cannot lose an insane amount of value, which rules out most new cars. I can't buy the thing for 50 grand today and sell it a year from now for 19.5. That's too expensive. It needs to retain almost all of its value over the year. Now, my preferred method of getting suggestions is Twitter. I'm Doug Demuro or at Doug Demuro or something. You can find a link to my page in the video description. Now, you can also use the hashtag DougCar to tell me what I should get. Now, I've never used the hashtag before in my life, but it will make it easier for me to follow your suggestions as they roll in over the next few days. You can also make a suggestion by replying to this YouTube video or replying to my column on Jalopnik or on my Facebook page or my Instagram. Pretty much anywhere, really. And I promise I'll read every single suggestion because I'm going to throw them all into a giant Excel document and show you the statistics of what you suggested next week. And so those are all the rules. Go for it. Help me choose the car that will star in my next series of columns and videos. It's up to you now.